Good morning. Good. Good morning and thank you for the opportunity to share. My name is Delman Coates and I am the senior pastor of Mount Enon Baptist Church in Clinton, Maryland. Because I'm a pastor, some might assume that I have nothing to add to the conversation about climate change and environmental justice. However, I have made it a point to stress to my congregants my belief that people of faith have a moral obligation to be good stewards of the earth, to care for the environment and to protect future generations by addressing the effects of climate change and carbon pollution. The issue of environmental justice is particularly important to me because as pastor of a predominantly African-American congregation, I am sensitive to the fact that people of color and low-income communities suffer disproportionately from environmentally related health issues, including, including asthma, bronchitis, and other respiratory ailments. Countless university studies conclude that climate change and carbon pollution severely undermine the health of minority communities. Issues of class compound these disparities in health as lower-income families uh, who are already dis uh, predisposed to higher health risks are also often living to the closest, the closest to the sources of carbon pollution, which is threatening the health of citizens all across the country. Uh, this, is not, uh, this is not some problem out there for another generation. It affects us right here. Power plants and other major industrial facilities in the area uh, emitted more than 450,000 metric tons of carbon pollution in 2011. That's equal to the yearly pollution for more than 95,000 cars. These industrial facilities are harming our economy and our health. There are members of my congregation who suffer from environmentally induced illnesses. They are elderly parishioners burdened by declining health, battling chronic illnesses such as lung disease, cardiovascular disease, and high blood pressure, which are only made worse by carbon pollution and climate change. They are widows and widowers who have lost loved ones due to in industrial po industrially produced respiratory diseases. Sadly, many of these individuals are also young people, children, who, whose quality of life has been diminished by industrially produced air pollutants. In scripture, we are given a clear mandate to care for widows, orphans, the elderly, and those in distress. In the gospels, Jesus bids his followers to give attention to the needs of the poor, especially children. For this reason, I have pledged my support to the clean power plant because it attempts to correct for the abuses of former generations so that people, because especially, but especially our children, can live and grow in a cleaner, safer, and healthier world than the one we are on track to leave them. We need the clean power plant. It is sensible federal environmental policy that provides states the flexibility they need to develop customized plans that will keep our energy affordable and reliable while ensuring our children have clean air to breathe. Thank you. Thank you. Sarah? Um, great, yeah, my name is Sarah Bucci. So you have that pronunciation right. Um, and that's B.